This is the Above the Falls uh, Challenge Course. Just very briefly, a little history of this place and this building specifically. Uh, this facility uh, uh, came through uh, uh, the RED initiative of about four years ago, Rural Economic Development. Um, we were to come up with a, uh, a local business that would create jobs, uh, become financially sustainable, environmentally sustainable, and uh, most specifically, engage youth. Uh, and this is what uh, we've come up with. Uh, the money to build this facility, I mean, that the climbing tower out there with the equipment that's on it is well over $100,000 worth of equipment. So it's, very, it's, it's not cheap to do this kind of thing. Uh, the training and stuff that Craig and I have taken in order to operate, not just operate the equipment safely, but also to facilitate groups through it, that facilitation process has been part of our training. It also is very expensive and extremely intense. So we're, we feel very well prepared out here to have uh, folks like yourself and uh, specifically young people uh, uh, to come out and get an experience. We challenge young people when they come out here. We put them in a different environment. We put them in a place where they're unfamiliar are in a, a place of unfamiliarity. As their uncertainty goes up, their ability to learn and retain information goes up. So the more unfamiliar you are with the situation, the more apt you are to listen and retain that information. Rather than, yeah, yeah, I know all that. It's like, I don't know that, I gotta know that. That's what happened. Uh, on that note, everybody has their own place of unfamiliarity or uncertainty, that place where your learning is the best. Some of us, it might be just the top of a ladder and that's as far as you can go and that's fine. We will just ask you to take one more step. Go as far as you can, take one more step and then you can stop. There's others who will want to bolt up to the top and then do a jazz dance up there and that's fine too. So then we're going to ask them to do something else that they don't want to do. So it doesn't matter where your learning edge is, we ask you to go just a little bit further from that. If your learning edge is down here, that's cool, that's, uh, no problem with that whatsoever. If your learning edge is up here, that's also great and we encourage that. In fact, that's a challenge for us, we'd, we'd like to see that. We'll uh, just push you a little bit. A little bit more about the facility. The building you're in now is a, uh, is a green facility. It's been made using these uh, shipping containers, uh, very inexpensive building materials. Uh, Canada imports more shipping containers than it exports, so we have more of these sitting around than we can deal with. Uh, extreme amount of energy used in uh, demolishing them and taking them down to their, to their raw materials, so they're much better to be used as building materials. So that's what we've done. It's very unusual, but it can be done as you can see. We can remove 80% of the outside structure of these and, they, and it doesn't affect their structure. So that's why we can cut doors into here and it does not affect the structure of the, of the containers because they're, they're a steel shell covered with aluminum. They're insulated 50 feet long. We have uh, one and a half kilowatts of solar power uh, being generated up on the roof there. As you can see though, we don't have a light on in here. Uh, again, we've made it so that we can use natural light, but in those dark rooms such as the bathrooms and stuff, we do have lights, uh, lights available. Uh, we don't have a well out here. We are collecting rainwater, or will be as soon as we get our eaves troughs up. Uh, there are two bathrooms there. They're not operable. Please don't use them. Um, <laughs> please, please. <laughs> um, but they will be. They're composting toilets. Uh, again, they're very expensive, very high tech, and uh, we're really looking forward to having those work and seeing how they work and being able to explain to uh, people, especially young people, hey, you can do it this way. You don't need a septic system. Hey, you can collect rainwater. You don't have to put purified water in your toilet. Things like that. Um, what else have we done out here, Craig? A lot of the stuff that you see here has either been donated or reclaimed or recycled. Uh, the windows at the front are from John Grace's house. Uh, the doors are from a dance studio in Listowel. Um, uh, GDCI High School woodworking class made us these uh, uh, fantastic benches. They designed them and, uh, and built them for us. Backpacks, everybody asks, what are these for? Backpacks, hang on there, for kids. So we can always address the kids so they're not sitting with their back towards us. So they're fantastic little tables. Uh, that's how this facility has been built. Behind me will be uh, a very extensive indoor climbing wall. As soon as we get it done, you can uh, feel free to have a look over here. It goes down four feet. Uh, on the floor down there are some old wrestling mats that we got from the Clinton High School. They were about to pay someone to take them away. So they didn't pay me to take them away, and I took them to here. Uh, so that's how this facility has been put together, with bits and pieces. Uh, we, we take what we can, what we don't have, we make do. So it's a very rustic uh, situation. With kids out here, you can't break anything. Kids can run amok, and that's fine. There's nothing that they can break. Uh, so it's really good to be able to just let kids go and play. 
Um, you'll notice on some of the tables, and like Allison mentioned, uh, when we have uh, groups in here, we have stuff on, on the table for them to do. So they're engaged at all times. There's always a little game to play.